Hello, can you hear me okay? It sounds really echoey in here. That's okay. Today I'm gonna to be trying something that I recently bought on Amazon. I am quite excited. It is called Health and Beauty Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay. Wow. So here it is. I'm not necessarily skeptical here. I've never used something like this before. It's a powder. So like, there's nothing wet about this. It's like dehydrated clay. And it's up to me to mix it with water or apparently apple cider vinegar to make the clay mask to put it on my face. It says, feel your face pulsate. <laughs> I don't know if I like the sounds of that or not, I'm not gonna lie. And when I was reading reviews, it says that it makes your face tingle, so I suppose that's what it's talking about. Mix clay with equal parts of raw apple cider vinegar and or water. Works best with apple cider vinegar. Use a non-metal bowl and utensil. Darn. Stir the mixture well to a smooth paste. Add more clay or liquid as needed. Apply an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch to the face or other area. Let dry for five to 10 minutes for delicate skin and 15 to 20 minutes for normal skin. Remove clay by washing with warm water. Use once per week for normal skin, more often for problem skin. I have no idea how this stuff's gonna be, how intense it's gonna be. I've never used it before. I'm gonna be using water. I don't even own apple cider vinegar yet. Maybe if it's okay, I'll work my way up to that. But for the first time, water. Calcium bentonite clay. Gotta get the blood. Ooh, I got it, I got it. Okay, so here we are. No metal. <laughs> Glass, plastic. I'm squatting for you right now. You are welcome. That's what it looks like on the inside. Very nice, satisfying texture. La di da di da. <coughs> Water. Water. Now we'll mix it up. If this stuff corrodes metal, then why am I putting it on my face? <coughs> That's what it looks like there. It's only been a couple minutes, but whatever this pulsating feeling is that you're supposed to get, not yet. I feel nothing, so I think it's safe to go ahead and put my mask on my face. A spoonful of clay mask. I'll give you one guess as to who I think I look like right now. Oh, <laughs> went to the east, bro! <laughs> I think we can all agree. It went on really smooth, and I didn't need more than that one spoonful. Definitely, you don't need to make a lot of it. It spreads a lot. And even when you get those clumps, when you get them on your face, you can kind of smush them in. You can see that there are some spots that are lumpier than others, and that's just because when you mix it, that's sort of how it went on. It doesn't smell bad, and it doesn't hurt at all yet. I'm not feeling any sort of tingling. A few moments later. <laughs> I can't even talk right now. We're like seven minutes in right now. There's like a slight tingling feeling that only started happening about a minute ago. Maybe it's just because it's drying. It's getting tighter, that's for sure. You can see all the cracks in my eyebrows because I can't help but make facial expressions. I'm sorry, shoot me. All right, let's leave it on for another five. Eventually. It's time, folks. I'm sure I could leave it on a little longer if I wanted to, but truth be told, I'm just really hungry and I want to eat food now, but I can't with this on my face. Uh. Ta! Not a lot of redness. Maybe the tiniest, tiniest bit. I'm gonna moisturize pretty much right now, but I wanted to show you what it looks like without the moisturizer. Everything feels pretty great. I mean, it's not like my pores disappeared or anything. They're still very much a part of me. Maybe with multiple uses, it'll get better. I like the way clay masks feel on my face. I like putting it on, letting it dry, and then taking it off. It's just, it's very satisfying to me, as opposed to just like sheet masks and peeling them off, and then you've got like goo on you. Thanks for checking it out with me. I enjoyed it. Bye.